are coming to you from Florida. We zipped down here. We went to the most beautiful wedding. Congratulations, Cassie and Aaron. Uh, while we were down here, we we're taking advantage of having some things delivered. And I wanted to talk to you today about Pistol's dog trailer. If you were following our last video series, you saw that 12 days, whatever, bike packing across Missouri in the Katy Trail. This is where the Green Bean Queen spent a lot of her day and uh 240 miles 240 miles at least yeah and then it was having some issues it's kind of small it's kind of heavy yeah and we did start to develop a rip in the back here pretty early on so we kind of had to watch that now this trailer came to us used um someone gifted it to us so we decided after that many miles in it um pistol needed an upgrade so. Pistol needed an upgrade. <laughs> this this was a good trailer. What I really liked about it is, well, it's good and bad. I liked that it's so compact when it folds down. There was a space in the van garage that it fit. Um, but to get a new trailer that's the right size for Pistol, it's not going to fit in the garage anymore. So yes. We'll get to that later. So let's show you what we got. Yeah, wheel that one out with the old and with the new. Look at this. This is the new Green Bean Queen wagon throne, I will call it. Uh, this is a burly tail wagon. Um, after spending that many miles pulling the burly Nomad trailer with all our camping gear inside, we were confident in the quality of the burly. Um, oh. So we decided this is gonna be the new spacious. Here, I'll give you a close up. Now there'd be some sort of uh, foam bedding in there and stuff. Yeah. But this is the back where she'll get in and out of. Um, the front opens up to, we're not sponsored by Burley. This is just what we got. Um, it's just so lightweight. Yeah. I think my Burley Nomad, which packs all our gear, is 15 pounds. I don't know if the specs on this one, but it's probably... I think it's 20. Yeah, 15 to 20 pounds, but folds up really nice. So anyway, that's that's the the new pistol wagon. It's also good because if you notice, that one has, the I think they're 10 inch wheels or 12 inch wheels. Those are 12 inch 12 wheels. 12 inch, yeah. And now both trailers will have the same exact 16 inch wheels, which roll nicer. You don't have to carry extra tubes so so i guess we've decided we're doing more of these trailer trail adventures huh? yeah i guess that's what we're kind of saying is uh, <laughs> we, we enjoyed that trip and we're going to do some more another thing we decided to do while we we're down here is reconfigure our roof because change of plan change of plan we needed a change we needed a change um so if you followed our van build you know that i designed this roof rack the humble road studio with george and it was very specific. I wanted solar panels down the driver's side and the kayak rack on the passenger side, awning under the rack. Um, it works great, but we wanted to do something more specific. We wanted to go bike packing and possibly backpacking. And I can't stow all that in a van. We'd have to, we gotta get a class. As in. much as we do fit inside, <clears throat> we can't fit it all, right? No, no. and um, so we decided to be uh, what we used to call mission specific. We're gonna go do some bike packing and possibly backpacking. Since we're not gonna be using the dog trailer, the cargo trailer, and all our backpacking gear all the time, um, it doesn't need to be stored in the van or in the van garage in the way. So with the kayak down, um, I wanted to find some sort of luggage storage. So instead of having a hard case cargo carrier mounted on top of those uh, roof rack cross pieces making us taller than I want to be. I wanted to find something that would sit down on the roof between a couple of those cross pieces. So I found this on Amazon, got great reviews. It's a waterproof um, soft cargo carrier that if I measured correctly, which we're going to find out soon, will fit up on the roof and between those two cross pieces. Hopefully there's a place to secure the, the carrier to the roof. And then we can store our backpacks, backpacking gear, the cargo trailer, 
all that will be in here out of the way until we need it which won't be very often pistols dog trailer um also turns out she likes to hang out in it so this is not going to go in there i don't know if i could fit all of it anyway uh, this folds down flat and small as light we'll store it on the bed um, while we're traveling but when we get to places and we stay we're going to bring it outside and it's her own little uh i don't know what do you call it crate Camel kennel crate yeah she Kids. loves it. She just loves being in there. So. Yeah, so this has been going on the bed, and then at night we just move it up front out of the way. And then during the day at camp, she just hangs out in it sometimes outside. So that's not going in this. Shall we try and get this up on the roof? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Seems like we're always doing stuff to see if it works with the camera on instead of like doing everything and then go, look how awesome this is. No, because sometimes it's not awesome. We have to be honest. Yeah, so this has to go towards the front this is the non-zipper side okay so the, yeah the re reviews on this were great i think it was less than 100 bucks i'll put a link in the description box below and also on our website we have uh all the products that we use so you can check that out okay shall we do this yeah Let's go see how we did. We got a lot in there. What do we got? Got two backpacks, our thermarest sleeping pads, the cargo trailer, the tent, two sleeping bags, got the bike tail bags, miscellaneous backpacking stuff inside there. And wait, most importantly, your Christmas suit and my oh, green jumpsuit. Yeah, the the necessities to van life. For those that follow us know that once in a while Irene has this uh, magnificent full screen sequin jumpsuit that just has to make an appearance once in a while. Yeah. Even minimal van life has to have some things like that. That's right. So anyway, this will be nice to have all the stuff stored up here. We don't use it often, but when we need it, yeah, it's, it's not it's not crammed in our way down there. So I think that trailer, cause this, this, um, this can actually, you know, be pretty yeah. tall. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that folds down so flat that that would fit in there. But we'll just see if, if Pistol keeps using it as yeah. a little day bed. We'll just keep it in the, in the van. Yeah, sounds good. So this zips around the three sides and then these four corners will go around yeah, this fits perfectly. It's almost like it was made for it, it between does. beam to beam. When I measure this, is, this is the only really place to put anything. I have the you know the Max Air fan there. There's a little spot up there, but I didn't want it up, way up front. I wanted it back here. Um, so yeah, it was just one spot. So I measured that spot and started researching, and I found one that was like it's like an inch narrower and an inch shorter. Yeah, than, it's like that was meant to be. So. Let's hopefully, zip her up. Hopefully it's not just some weird knockoff that leaks, but there was a bunch of reviews on it and everyone said drove across country, rain, storms, everything was fine. So Yeah. We'll keep you posted. We'll, we'll find out. We'll just check on it. Yeah. I'm going to zip it up and then strap it down. Looking good, babe. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it fits and how secure it is. <clears throat> I've got a lot of long extra strap. I, I don't want to cut them yet because I'm not sure. I mean, who knows what I might do. So I got to find a way to 
rep. Secure those a little yeah, better. Yeah, they just kind of run. For now, you just tied them, yeah. Yeah, but that's not going to last. Yeah. So I'll think about that one today. And but this looks good. It's snug in there. Yeah, so I think I can come up with the ladder in the middle, unsnap these two sides, zip from here, access whatever I need, hook, and never have to really... In yeah. Yeah. No. I, I think... guess we're going to find out. We will find out, and we will let you know. Well, that's that. We got some exciting things coming up ahead. We don't entirely know for sure. We do know the first thing we're doing is heading north as quickly as possible to get out of this heat and humidity. So next time you see us, we will be heading north. Carry on. Carry on. For behind the scenes footage, extra content, and all our videos early release and ad free, check out our Patreon page. And check out our blog on our website, carryonbagabond.com. Thanks again and carry, carry on. on.